What's up guys, how you doing? This is Philip Starred here and welcome to the next part of my Lombok series. And in today's episode, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how you can use the at not null annotation to automatically create null checks in your code. So there's many ways to do this already. You can have this, so this is probably used in older applications. You know, if person equals null, throw a null pointer or throw illegal state or illegal argument or something along the lines. But we don't want to do that. That's too much code. Three lines, too much. No, thank you. We also have in, in Java, we have a require non null in the objects um, class. It's a static method that will um, require that an object is not null or throw a null pointer. So it's nice. And it's similar to the likes of Guava's um, uh, preconditions. But also, we don't want to use that. Um, so what we want to do is be able to change this to one annotation. No, no. It's Lombok. And what this will do is add that check in for us. So we go ahead and run this. It'll be fine. It'll run. I just I don't have an import there. That's all I was complaining about. But as you can see, it printed fine. And if I pass in null, it's going to throw a null pointer exception now with the name of the argument. So person. Now, if we delete this, everything would have run fine. And it would have just printed out null. As you can see so that's one way of introducing non null checks into your application very quickly and um, it's another alternative to what i just explained so if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to this uh, youtube channel in the series i love making these videos and stay tuned for the the next uh, video so thank you very much